Good afternoon, everyone. This is Hope Lives Here, and I am Apostle Dolores Kendrick, once again sharing the word of the Lord to you, just giving you encouragement and inspiring words that will just bless you throughout the day. And I am so excited over life itself. I once again, I want to thank you for just extending my birthday celebration. You know me, I celebrate the whole month. But it's just been beautiful. The extended celebration last Sunday was so beautiful. And thank you, T.O.P. It was so good to hear from you and our guest, uh, Andre Taylor. But it's just good just to just to be 80 years old, you know, and that God have blessed. And I'm so thankful for his blessings upon my life and how he have just given me a uh, new a new zeal, a new uh, assignment, seemingly, a new place in him just to uh, conquer and just to go forward and in this particular hour that we're living in. So I am excited and I just wanted to thank you for sharing and making it possible for me to have such a beautiful um, year celebrating my 80th year. This afternoon, I want to share with you, you know, many times um, we forget the 29 declarations and I want to just encourage you to continue to declare them, to decree them, because we're not seeing each other and we're not quoting it together. Sometimes we can become a little lazy and miss days, but I don't want you to miss a day. I don't want the evening to go down, the sun to go down, that you have not quoted and declared these declarations because your persistence is what's going to make it happen. Your persistence is what's going to cause the, the blessings to come and the inheritance that you so deserve to come your way. I want to talk about, I think it's the 19th uh, declaration. I declare I will be fruitful, I will multiply, I will replenish, I will subdue. Now that's a lot, isn't it? And I will have dominion in this world each day of my life. We quote all every day, this is my year of total restoration, all around victory for God is at work in my life. And he is just blessing me. He is increasing me. And I just added to that, you know, he'd given me victory, yes, on every side, but he's increasing me and multiplying me on every side. And he's empowering me to experience all around victory this year, this year of 2020. And so we want to uh, just declare these things. I want to share uh, on the declarations for a few weeks so that you will not become, you know, where you're not quoting them at all. But when we talk about declaring, I will be fruitful and multiply, replenish, subdue, and have dominion. When we look at subdue, we're looking at overcoming. Uh, the word subdue means to reduce, and I love this, to reduce the intensity of a thing to conquer it, to prevail over it, to bring into subjection and to, uh, to, to literally just bring it into uh, your place of dominion over it. In Genesis 1.28, it says that uh, uh, God blessed Abraham, I mean, um, excuse me, um, Adam and Eve. He blessed them and he said to them, be fruitful and increase in number. Fill the earth and subdue it. Rule over the fish in the sea and the birds in the sky and over every living creature that moves on the ground. So the blessing that was bestowed upon them for both of them to be fruitful and to know that they had been given the authority by God. And because of this, you know that you have been given the authority by God to uh, exercise this and see these things manifesting in your life. When we look at replenish, it says to fill, build up again, to restore. Yes, restore. Uh, one of the declarations, uh, remember, is that I declare that everything and anything that has been lost or stolen is being restored in my life. 
I am pursuing, I'm overtaking and getting back everything the enemy has taken from me. And, you know, we have seen this as we look at 1 Samuel and we, the 30th chapter, the 8th verse, we see where David, King David, he, he, he inquired of God. He inquired of the Lord and he said, shall I pursue after this troop? Shall I overtake them? What should I do? We're looking for an answer from the Lord. And God answered him and said, pursue for thou shalt surely overtake them without fail. You're going to recover all. I want you to know that you're going to recover everything that has been taken from you. You're going to recover everything that's been lost or stolen from you as you declare it, as you speak it, and you stand upon the word of God. And he also said that you would multiply. In other words, procreate, increase, grow, reproduce. There would be a root reproduction that would take place in your life, that you will constantly be multiplying, constantly be multiplying. He wasn't talking about just children. He was talking about your life in general. Fruitfulness, he said, you would be fruitful. You would be fertile. You would uh, uh, be rich and high yielding, lush, abundant. All this was promised as we look at the scripture, he would repay us for the years, saints, that the locusts have eaten away, the great locusts and the young locusts, the other locusts of the locust swarm. Uh, any locust, what do we mean? We're speaking of demonic forces. We're speaking of the enemy. Anything that he have taken, uh, he and drained and, and, and pulled on you, your health, where you're fighting for your health, you declare your health. You declare it because he has given your health back to you. He wants you to be um, healthy. God wants you to be a, a fruitful vine. He wants you to be able to be blessed that you can bless others. And in this hour we're living, there's been much loss. Well, we know that uh, in material things, in uh, just life itself, we have suffered loss. And, of it. and this is one of the things I want to share with you also today and just encourage you to be wise. I will be speaking uh, Thursday concerning wisdom and using wisdom to uh, know the right choices to make in this hour. God has given to us uh, the, 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 the word that we can prosper in fruitfulness, and we can multiply, and we can subdue, we can conquer, we can overcome. And you say that over and over, I am an overcomer. I can produce, I can multiply, I can multiply my finances, I can multiply, you know, and I can replenish my earth that I live in. Yes, I can restore my youth. I can restore those things that the enemy has been trying to steal and take away from me because it is God's good pleasure. It is his pleasure. And so as you quote and you speak these words of truth, I think of Naomi in the Bible and I think about how that she left a place of famine. And we know the story of how she looked for, with her husband, she looked for a, a more fruitful place and she uh, they found the place and camped at, at Moab, right outside of Moab, which was a very idolatry, idolatry place, a place full of idolatry and all. But they died. Her sons died. Her husband died. And she had just the two uh, daughters, uh, one from Moab and the one produced by that, that came in from uh, an idolatrous, uh, a, a, a land that didn't know the Lord and didn't recognize um, the, the, the kingdom of God, didn't recognize. And you might, you might have experienced this, you know, in your life, that you have been connected with something that does not bow to Christ, does not recognize Jehovah as God, does not recognize Jesus Christ as the son of the living God. But one of them stayed and one left. And Ruth stayed, didn't she? She stayed with her mother-in-law and they went back. They went back to the land of Canaan. And as they went back, it was a fruitful place. Sometimes we have to turn around and go back 
where we first started in our Christian walk with God. Sometimes we have to just make a decision and say, you know, I've gotten off track. I have, uh, things aren't working for me. And now with this pandemic, it's getting worse. Sometimes we have to return back to the old landmarks. We have to return back. And I'm not saying that go back to the old in the way of doing things like we did before. No, I'm speaking of your spiritual life, your walk with God, returning where your first love was, where you would get excited just to name Jesus would cause you just to, have goosebumps, chasing goosebumps. That's what I'm talking about. Returning back to that worship, returning back to that praise, restoring, yes, and replenishing your life and being filled with the presence and the glory of God. And then moving forward, moving forward, because we become dry. We Our land becomes dry when there is no oil. And when there is no rain coming from heaven, our land becomes dry and it dries up and die. But when we, hallelujah, and I just love to use this as just being fruitful in our love for Christ, being fruitful in our praise for God, multiplying and increasing in our worship for God and in declaring the declarations of God. Hallelujah. Building up again. Hallelujah. Restoring the Robo Shana Restoring that life. Hallelujah. That life Glory to God that he has given unto us that life in Jesus Christ. Restoring, restoring the old landmarks. Restoring and stirring up and turning over, plowing up that worship and that praise. And standing upon solid ground. Hallelujah. I just feel the Lord and I just feel that as we think on these things, think on these things. That's another declaration, isn't it? Thinking on things that are the right things to think about. It is war. Yes, it takes warfare to do that. But you are a warrior and you can bring every thought into subjection to the word of the living God. I am excited and I thank God for every one of you that's listening. And I just want you to increase. I want you to multiply. I want you to have restoration in your life. And I just once again, just share, I declare, I will be fruitful. Can you say that? Let's go back. I want you to say this with me right now. Okay. I declare, I will be fruitful. I will multiply, I will replenish, I will subdue, and I will have dominion in this world each day of my life. Thank you for repeating that. And I want you to continue, want you to, continue to claim that and speak it and watch and see the manifestation of the word of the Lord come into fruition. Amen. I love you so much and miss you so much. And thank you for just listening. And I hope that you've been encouraged today. And I just bless you in the name of Jesus. I just bless that you just speak that you will have a blessed day, that you will have be encouraged in the Lord, that everything that you do will prosper today, that his face, hallelujah, will shine through you as you go to different places. If you're going out, that the light of Christ will shine, hallelujah, from you. And they will know that they're in the presence of God when you come into their place. Amen. God bless you, and I will see you Thursday. Amen.